So we have more updated uh, contract in English, but I decided to select this one because this was this idea of co-production that actually Anna was asking, and I think it was more complex somehow. And well, it, it was not only concerning, but it's concerning with a museum, with the artists and the project. I thought that would be more interesting. So the idea is you to 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 read together these clauses and to to think from your your. Because I know that you, you are an artist, photographer, photographer artist, artist. architect, architect? Yes. good, great. <laughs> good. I mean, I really, I really believe in in identities, really. Uh, Moving identities, mutable identities, so it's perfect. I have my problems to, un to answer to that, so. And because of that, I begin a project, so imagine. Great. Okay, so uh, the idea is from your own perspective, as your own practices and or your own experiences, to read these clauses. I, I, I have made this idea of, 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 of breaking and, and having separate because uh, in that way you can focus on that <laughs> and you don't know how it's going to be the, 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 the other context and everything. So I, I want to know only thinking in those conditions that you have in your hands, what do you think about? How do you, how do you feel about that? And if you think that, oh, this, this really sounds really bad, I mean, what means that the art, I mean, or it's, it's, it sounds fair and fair, or what, what, is the, what affects to the artist or to the producer, to the mission. I mean, I want to know what are the, the questions that they can uh, came after, and then you, you can have the chance to see all the content together. OK? So.
però lo devi tenere conto Really, you are ready to 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 share your thought. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm I am trying to yeah now. Uh, sorry, this is the copy. Just wanted to, to keep one if you have another copy. Ah, uh, no, I have only this and okay. the other one. But uh, but then I give you one. Uh, ah, just to follow. Um, I can sit with you. Okay. Uh, we, maybe I can... Uh, Uh, maybe you can contextualize a little bit how it's made the contract that I, because I say he's asking I mean uh, we have a lawyer Elena Laka she's really nice and um, and uh, we have been working with her so for many years uh, she, she she's coming from the publishing uh, so she's connected to the culture, but more to the books, and, and she doesn't understand. But she's really clever, so she's trying to, to, to understand what we ask all the time for, for her. I mean, I really like the idea of making the contract, because it's really an exercise that I like. It's like uh, showing, it's another kind of, in terms of Benjamin, again, of showing the reality. I think this is like a representation. This is like a picture somehow. I think this is a, 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 a work of art of, uh, uh, in, in nowadays. I mean, this is the, the, the picture of, uh, of contemporaneity because finally it's the way that you see all that is coming and, and, and going. And so we, we, we work with Elena. In this case, we were working with the museum. So we have like a kind of contract that we are changing all the time, but it's on a basis. And this was like a, a, a contract that it was a, um, made together with the museum, finally. So the project was an invitation to some artists to, to, to make a project after a research that we made with an architect uh, uh, with the museum. And um, who has the, the first uh, closest, the first one? You. And uh, w uh, can you read it and maybe? Sure. So number one, based on the research undertaken as per the previous contract, 
and made by Cassoni, an architect with the museum. The work consists of executing the project entitled Blank, which comprises an artistic initiative together with the work on the way in which said project will be shown in different ways as well as in different formats, contexts, and on different support media. Mm -hmm. And I, I put this in relation with the 10 one, sorry, with the 10, yes. that, that maybe you can read it even yeah. is, I think. It's long, but it's super important. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. It will be on the screen, so we can uh, but it, uh, No, no, no. Uh, is the name? Ah, no, but w yeah, because when I made it, I don't know if I save. Uh, but yes, you're right, because I sent to the office, so yes, you are totally right. That's what I love of working in work, in group, collective work. Yes, you're totally right. How, how I didn't thought. Uh, and now you see all my emails. Uh, Yes, this is. Yes, you're, you're right. I mean, here. Oh my God. Sometimes. Do you want to work in Gonzini? <laughs> uh, so. And how is the. Can you read? Yes. Is that okay for you? The what? The yeah. contract becomes public to be online. Yes, because it's not okay. the name. It's not the name there. Okay. It's not, yeah, it would be problematic if it's... Ah, but when... Before. Well. Uh, no, now it's not problematic at all. What? ¿Cómo se puede ampliar? ¿Sabes la imagen al 100%? Ver. Oh. Yeah, wow. So you see, no, it's okay. So this one, this was the the first one that Andrea has. Oh shit, sorry, has read for us. And uh, and then it was this was was the, the long one that she was saying that it was really important. We can do it uh, all together, but I think this w those two ones I prefer to read it together because in normally in our contract this this is coming the first. That's why I think it's uh, it's not problematic to to jump and to read. So th do you want to read this? Yes. publications, digital support media, etc., in which any of the <coughs> derivations of object of this contract or any of the derivations agreed within the project are reproduced, exhibited, distributed, or communicated publicly, the artist's authorship should be reflected and the following should be indicated expressly and in writing beside the title of the work. The project co-produced by Consoni and Museum in the framework of the project and or together with those public private institutions which have contributed financially or morally to the project. Interesting that we're moral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, in the event of there being derivations from the project not produced by Consoni, express reference should be made to the fact that that work in question forms part of the project co produced by Consoni and Museum. Both the artist and Consoni promise to ensure that the authorship and mentions referring to production, sponsorship, and financial support are duly reflected at all times. I have to say, <coughs> that there are many things that I'm not even me aware of. I mean, so, so the, the, the idea is to, to have a, an open discussion and really, I mean, yes, what, what do you have to talk about that? Uh, I can start I mean, from yes. the one. Yes. Um, I was wondering if you um, had some any problems about it because I mean it's it's of course very important but it's a little bit general <coughs> uh, because for example when you say like 
that a work uh, can be shown in different formats. Uh, I mean, it means that uh, sometimes uh, artists are very focused on production, but not so much in dissemination. And you can have like kind of discussion about the the ways the the work is presented mm -hmm. afterwards, for example. So it's important, I think, to specify a little bit more the way and the context, because of course I, I think we are talking about non-profit spaces, but then should be like uh, really specified that uh, nothing has to do with commercial stuff because sometimes can be like a little bit like ambiguous mm -hmm. and the same for support media I mean there is an ambiguity because um, yeah artists are not very much concerned sometimes about legal consequences and they discover them afterwards and at the same time, I mean, we are among like serious organizations, but there are some who are not very much. So something starts with the name and then changes very much when they have to show again the project in another context that can be commercial or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I was just wondering if you uh, uh, had any... Actually, you're right. In, in, the, in, the con in the contract that we have now, we have a specified the format. Okay. Yes, yes, we have specified, maybe too much, <laughs> I have to say, because we have all the format, you know, like book, uh, video, but uh, also, I mean, uh, and then uh, with the 10, I mean, with the connection, because there is another uh, word in the intent that I think maybe <coughs> it was not uh, uh, derivation. I mean, the idea of the derivation is really related with this idea of the format, that also is really tricky. I mean, how is going to, yeah, but... Sorry? But, but the idea of the derivation is coming also because for us, I mean, for us, the, the real importance of, of having the contract is, is to, to, to clarify what you have paid uh, to, to the artist and, and what are the conditions in that sense, not to forget somehow. But, uh, but the real, real importance also is the question of the communication. That's the real important question. So that's why the question of the derivation is coming because we were, we, for instance, we I have I have give all the books of the zombies. <laughs> Just now the, I need. <laughs> you don't have the the book of the zombies. Or, ah, yeah, good. I, I'm giving you back again, but uh, it's heavy for my suitcase, so I don't want it. But uh, but uh, but in this project, for instance. Uh, when we were doing the contract, it was it was really tricky because you are inviting the artist, you don't know exactly what is going to be the format. That's why sometimes we are really really slow doing the, the contract, and also because it's not so common and it's something that you left to the last day and really not it's not a really good idea. But uh, when we were doing this um, this project, for instance, they went. A prize, a really important prize in the Basque Country, Gurertea, and they were showing this project in in the Art Museum, and uh, and the project was with another name, but it was a derivation of this original project. So that's why sometimes, because obviously, if you are right, that you never know. But and, and it's not important in that case. We are not asking for money. We are not asking for nothing. But if you are going to talk about even the price. Or it's good that, that you know that wh who was behind. And also because w what it was ending in this exhibition, even the name, it was different. All the, 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 the photographs that they were made, somehow they were, uh, the videos that they were showing, I mean, the people that they were recording those videos, they were paid by us. So obviously, we don't want to, to it's not a question, it's not, it's not uh, so much a question of money, but a question of recognition. Because finally we disappear. If, if, if a pro producer doesn't exist, imagine, finally, if you are not pushing to the people to say, okay, because this, this is a figure that we don't have never in mind. So that's why we, we start with the contract. And what, that's why the idea of the format, and you can uh, sell uh, and that's why the, the question of the of the derivations of, and the and the different format is answering to that. Uh, I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of the the in the Uwenheim, 
Like, could that be, and, and all the, the, <coughs> like, you know, like the key things and the postcards and everything they sell of the, the book, they sell Jeff Koons sculpture that mm -hmm. is in front of the Guggenheim. Oh, okay. And it's like the mascot, like the pet oh. of the Guggenheim, so they have done a lot of little dolls and things like that. It's difficult for projects in Consoni to go that way. But <laughs> if they did, is that a derivation? Or do you have another point for that? Or do you don't have any kind of point? No, no, I know, I know. Uh, actually, it's one of I, I, I love this this uh, certain case. It's really interesting because because the the puppy. I mean, all the rights of the communication rights of this work belongs to the museum. It's not Jeff Koons. Um, I don't know exactly how is the deal. I imagine that he has he he will have maybe a percentage, but the control is 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 by the foundation of the not not even the Guggenheim Bilbao is the the foundation and um, and it's really really interesting because uh, it it was I, I don't remember who told me that but but at uh, at first they are so I mean they are not doing it that way but the, the, those contracts that they have because it was a, a, a story a really interesting story in in Bilbao with the with the image of the museum with with the, with with an artist that he makes also pasta uh, Fausto Rossi <laughs> so he 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 makes pasta I mean ah he's Italian ah, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in Italy you know <laughs> it's like oh Fausto Fausto Rossi so he he's he, he's an artist and he makes also pasta he has a really good shop in Bilbao when you come we can go and uh, and and he he decided to make a, a pasta pasta fresca made with the shape of the museum. So the the with the, with the shape with the shape of the museum pasta pasta fresca and and uh, with the shape. So so the lawyers they appear they appear the lawyers to to Fausto, and we we know these issues because we made the project with uh, the, the project with Andrea Fraser at the beginning was supposed to be a, a sitcom about a, a, a city uh, with a museum. So so we made a research about those issues. That's why that's why I know these kind of stories, and um, and we talked to to Fausto because the lawyers they appear and they say to Fausto, no no no, you have to pay the right because you are using the image of the museum, yeah. or otherwise you have to cancel in that. Yeah. Research on that too when I was at the at the museum oh, yeah. theater, and it was that was another thing that is not so much said about the museum, but it was the first building in the world that had a copyright on its image. Mm. So if you want to use <coughs> the image of the museum for whatever that is commercial, even if it's pasta fresca, whatever you have to pay them. So it's the first time because no other monument had a copyright in the image of the building. So it's the first building. Mm. But in this case, it's so 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 strange that even taking the picture of. of Poppy has rights, yeah. and, and you see everyone is doing that all the time. But but if you want to sell, or then I mean they can't control everything. But uh, but obviously if they wanted, they 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 could go to every Facebook saying, "Ah, eh, this picture is mine." How you are put it in Facebook? But and they they are not doing that. But they they were doing with the pasta thing, and it was really it was really hilarious. It was really funny, and Fausto was like, "Okay, so obviously he stops." doing that. And now there is another story with the, another tower that they have made in Bilbao, this Bebeca, yeah. no, Bebeca no, Iberdrola. You know that even, that, that this kind of strange things that is like, who is really thinking in this? They, they, uh, they have, is the, 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 the biggest tower in the city, so if you are there, you have a view that no one has. So if you and, and and they made a, they have a, an art collection there that is private and you can only go to see by invitation. So and I was I don't know why invited once and I I went there and 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 we were looking to the view, but then you realize that there is this kind of uh, curtain. I mean a cortina <laughs> or uh, there. So you. you you can see the view, but you can't t take a picture with your phone because everything is going to appear like that, you know? Yeah. And even more, when you, even you decide, okay, but I want the picture even with this, uh, 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 a girl came and said, no, 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 you are not allowed. You can't take a picture. That's crazy.
most of the outdoors. So obviously they don't have, because they can't uh, register, they, they can't have rights for the, for the view outdoors, but finally they have, because they are doing everything they can to, to, yeah, to punish you or, or not to, to give you the chance of taking the picture. And obviously with the iPhone we were all the people imagining, we were all like trying to, and they was, no, 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 you can't. And I was like, why I can't? No, because you can't. And it was like, what do you mean I can't? I can't take a picture of Bilbao? No, you can't. You are in a private uh, building and you can't. So it was like, oh my God. So yeah, the Google can they were the, the, the first one, but now everything is becoming really crazy. So maybe we can continue with the contract thing if you want. Who, who, who has the, the do, you, do you want to add something, you guys? Uh, who had the, the second one? Yeah. You can read it, please. Consoni <coughs> will make the necessary arrangements to support artists in producing the project object of this contract, together with all the project derivations that Consoni artists and museums have agreed, herein or in a specific and separate contract document. Each of these individual documents will be attached to this framework document. And you have another, the more, no? You have yeah, um, well, we've got nine, uh, three, four, four, five, and eleven. <laughs> wow, you have yeah, a lot. Yeah, because we merged together. Like your own ah, to okay. Three. Okay, so continue with three, four, and five, because I, I, we, we, three, four at least. <coughs> Street short. <laughs> so I will read it. The mm -hmm. project will last from the date it is signed until. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, four. No, I have to wait for two. <laughs> for Kelsani will provide the necessary funds for the project's production and will pay artists the fees agreed to undertake the project object of this contract. Fees for undertaking the project, Euro, yeah, to set. To be settled into payments, 30% of set amount to the signing of this contract and the 70% rest upon completion of the project. In addition to subsistence, travel and accommodation allowance for the recent travels. And we had some notes yeah. for that one. Because basically, I mean, of course it's not easy, but uh, just 30% of the set amount <coughs> of the name is not enough. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the work that the artists have to do, but it's not so much if they have to give the money before, I mean, to anticipate the money. And then it's not... No, 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 but it's not anticipated. Well, that's the honorary. The production, they don't have to anticipate anything. Because the production is covered. Let's see that then 70% rest upon completion of the project. What does it mean? But that's, but that's only talking... Uh, this is the fees only. So that means that the fees, they are going to pay the, the 30% at the beginning and then the 70% when the, when the project is done. But they have another project for production. There is no, they are not uh, having to anticipate anything. Yeah, and 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 then and then it's clear that in addition to subsistence, travel, accommodation, allowances for the research travels are also in addition. I mean, so it means that they, they uh, all the the cost of the of the travels, all uh, of the accommodation. Uh, all the needs of the production, everything is covered. This is, as I was saying at the beginning, production must be always out. I mean, production must be something, fees, honoraries must be another thing, because otherwise, that's the tricky way, I mean, that's the best way of the, of the, of the context, for instance, or prices, when they say, no, you have, you, uh, or, if you, or open calls, you have, um, I don't know, uh, 20,000 euros and it's like, wow, oh, that's what I have and what it means. And finally it's for everything. Or, or 5,000 euros, 5,000 euros is, is for honorarius could be okay, but it means that you have to pay your travel, your accommodation, that you have to make the project finally, you have to give money to the institution that is inviting you. So... Yes. The, the artist doesn't have to worry about anything. Like they do the work. Why did the money pay everything? It's not that the artist has to go and pay with 
the money that you give them. So that is essentially that's another important yeah. point. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's and that, that's something that uh, we have uh, learned with years not to share all the money that is coming and how we are because finally, obviously, you, you, I remember many years ago when I was younger. <laughs> And it was like a nightmare. Finally, with the artist, like looking with the budget and discussing what you are, how you are going to use. No, I mean obviously there, there must be a, a, a trust. I mean you have to trust each other. Otherwise, it's not possible to do the, the work. But uh, but uh, yes, the the manage of the to the the total budget <laughs> is something that is belong to us, and we not we don't share that uh, amount. The only thing that we share, I mean, is we ask is what you need exactly, so that's what we are going to give to you. But it doesn't matter exactly. For us, it's important. For from where is it coming? And does it change during the project? I mean, uh, do they have to say at the very, very beginning uh, uh, how? They oh, it changes a lot. I mean, at the beginning with Cabello Garcia, year it was two thousand euros, and I think finally the project has been twenty thousand euros. I don't know any reason uh, uh, the project can't be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <coughs> much. I mean, the artists keep the thirty percent, but of course, the work is not thirty percent. I mean, you you can get to one hundred percent, but anyway, you did the work actually. Well, that's number five. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, in the even cancellation of the financial agreement, but it, it, it is. A It's really, really, really complicated, and it, and it depends. In that case, your question is absolutely relevant because this project never happened. <laughs> it's about the frustration you have once the work is not done. Completely. Also, it depends. What is the reason why the, the project is not done? It depends if it's uh, a reason because of the artist has um, go to the Bahamas and has disappeared, or I don't know, or. But 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 if it's uh, because finally we we didn't get the money or we didn't get the permission. I mean, we have made many projects in Concerning that they were not done. Finally, and not because of the artists. Sometimes another case, in the case of the Ivona Lamberry with the fireworks in in a nuclear plant, we wanted to 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 make fireworks in in, in a closed in a closed nuclear plant. Uh, uh, and, and, and we didn't receive the, uh, the, the rights to do that. So obviously in that case, it's not uh, the problem of the artist and the artist has done all the work and, and you, you have to pay to the artist all, I think, all the honorarios in that case. And in this situation, the project was not done and the, pro and the artist, they received the, uh, uh, the 100%, all the money. Even the project was not done. It was not the, the responsibility. I, I, I really defend the idea of, of receiving all the honoraries even the project is not done, but it depends. I mean, it depends because there are some situations and, and I really think that it's much, and, and I also I defend this, this idea of giving the, 
the, the honorarios in different ways, could be 30 and 70 percent or 50 and 50, but not giving everything in the, in the first moment. Because we have also lived that. Uh, I remember once that we, ma we, g we paid all the money to some artists that then they didn't make anything. So then what? We are going, what do you do? So that's why now we do it in that way. So it depends because, yeah. Sometimes it's also tricky the definition of what has to be done because the artist can say that it has been done. Like, yeah. for instance, I'm not going to mention the project specifically with the artist, but together with Anna, we were managing a project which was having different partners, and there was one of the partners in charge of the artist, so it was not immediately us but it was an external one with the artist. And the idea was to create something for the public real. And finally, there was also a publication connected with this project. So the artist decided that her intervention in the public real is the text inside the, the, the book. And, and she said, this is the public real, because the book is going to be distributed and this public real. And we were saying, well, uh, maybe, we didn't agree exactly to what we meant, which is public space and interaction in public realm and something that for general public as well and not just for the people that are receiving the book. And she insisted that I want to have exactly what we agreed on, my fee, my cost of production, which was quite a lot just for the text itself. Um, but of course, when it's in material labor, how can you then possibly evaluate that the text is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 or whatever? So we ended up saying that, okay, this is what it is, because also we started to think that if we don't do so, then it will sound like it's a censorship, mm -hmm. in the sense that we are actually telling the artist, this is not public real, the book is not public real, and even though we agree that it, you have to do something in public space, you, you didn't understand, you know, we forgot about all this, and we acted like diplomatically, and we said to the organization, of course you can choose whatever you want, from our side, the text is going to be okay. But for sure, for us, it was a very controversial. Wow, thing. yeah. So it was clever. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an artist like this. The position uh, towards, uh, like, the conceptual position within the project was totally, not against, but completely different from the, like, the, the general uh, idea of, uh, of the project itself. Yeah. So yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's something that it happens uh, many many times. So I will say always that at the beginning, what do you think that is gonna happen, and and in the end, it changes a lot, no, in the project. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of another example, which could be very different, but let's take the example that Karen has already so Karatava gives you a project and tells you, okay, uh, the production is going to be, let's say, like a big but like 2,000. And then it goes up to 200,000. Is your responsibility not getting the money? Or is the responsibility of the person who gave the project in the first time? You know, like, if they say, I mean, I know this is not your case because they don't tell, like, this is going to be, I don't know how much. But if, if the project changes so much that it becomes something that you cannot realize, then whose responsibility is it? Yeah, in the case of Calatrava, in the case of, a, of our artists, I mean, yeah, Pablo Marte or Cabello Castellero or even all the artists that we have worked, obviously, to, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm not sure, maybe it was not 20,000 euros, but, but I mean, this kind of project finally is not, I mean, it's not so much money. I mean, to make a real project is, so, so in that case, I mean, in the case that is the, that they are amount that they are logic inside the, the logic, I think that the, the the organization has to provide that. I mean, obviously, because also in our invitation, when we are saying this kind of two thousand, and with the public was the same. We were saying two thousand euros, but then for me is. It's more like a framework, but it doesn't mean that we have to be all the time in that way, because I want the project to be done and to be done in, in, in good way. But once that I say that, in the case of, of Calatrava, it's, 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 it's not only the question of the amount or that it is increasing of the budget, it's the question of everything that is behind. I mean, the, the authorship, the idea that he, he has, obviously, Put it in an extreme with Cabello Cartillera and with Pablo Marta and the other project. You start with an amount, and of course you talk and you get to an agreement, and you say, like, okay, it has, it has increased, we believe it in this project, anyways. We're but imagine it's an artist that you didn't know, and you end up with someone 
who has this super big idea and goes like it's crazy. This happened. Guy. This yeah. happened. I, do you know? Do you know this case? It's a lawsuit between Mass Mocha and Christoph Buchel in 2008. Do you know about this? No. It's this exactly happened where Christoph Buchel, the installation ended up costing Mass Mocha hundreds of thousands of dollars. Where he like brought a house, he bought a house and then brought it into the museum and like was reshaping the whole museum. And finally, the director of the museum said, we cannot do this. We're not doing it anymore, we're not paying it anymore. And then the artist said, okay, the work is still mine then. And I decided because it's not finished, you cannot show it. And they went to the courts and the courts ruled in favor of the museum and said, actually, because there's so much money that they invested, they can do whatever they want with the piece. Wow. It's no longer belonging to the artist. Wow. But what happened wow. was they lost, <coughs> so the artist lost in the court of, in the official court, but the artist won in the court of public opinion because there was so much pressure from the artistic community on the museum that they finally gave the work back to the artist and said, okay, it's your work. And you know what happened? Christoph Buchel took all the legal documentation, all of the emails back and forth, incriminating Mass Mocha, the director, and made an art piece out of it. And sold it for like 150,000. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be like a Calatrava. It's happening in the art world. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's, it's happening in the art. Yeah. No, 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 it's totally. Yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't yeah. make with Javier Bartayer and with other. I mean, like, if you get with someone that you don't speak, it ends up, you know, like twisting in a bad way in that sense. So you it, have like something in your contract that allows you to say, <coughs> okay, we are not doing this project? No, we don't have that. But maybe we, we have to. <laughs> no, but but uh, we we don't have and we have because yes we have something that is like uh, in the case yeah we have in the in the clause when when you say in the the question of the payment now I remember that we we have that it says in the case that we don't reach with all the money uh, Consoni is uh, has the right to cancel or not to do all the all the, uh, the the part of the project that we arrange. Because for instance, with the project of Electro Class of uh, Maria Ruido, it was the same. It was, at the beginning, the idea was to make something related to the new office that we have in Consoni, something small, and then we end with a uh, film, and uh, with uh, talks with Marta Rosler, and with the uh, screen, I mean. So finally, it was a, a, a big, a huge project, but. But uh, and we we have decided to 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 put it all together in the same contract, but in different parts. So you have the film, you have the the, the conferences, the talks, you have the the screenings of the films and uh, the publication. So finally, there are like four formats, four derivations of formats that uh, they are coming together. And in this case, that we have agreed together. And in the in the contract it was specified also that in the case that we don't get all the money, m some of those uh, format could be not done. Yeah, and then yes. So we have to end. So ah okay. So we were I don't know. If, well, we we continue we continue with the contract or we end. Yes. Oh. So we were with. Five or no six. Ah, six. Uh, six, seven, and eight are interesting to read it together. So, please. Ah, no, no five. No, well, we it was we talk about it, no. Or did you want to add something? Do we read all of them, or are we still jumping, or are we going in Nevertheless, 
it is a sine qua non condition that all those rights which may be weighed be made over to the museum. And this is accepted by the, par the parties. Our question was why um, all the rest goes to the museum? <coughs> why from all the parts, like the rights of everything that is not into that mm -hmm. goes to the museum and not to the artist or to Consoni? I, I suppose it's. Um, or does it change the meaning of the world? And really, I mean, in reality, I mean, it was going, it was going to the museum. Uh, actually, uh, it was, we have the right uh, concerning museum. I mean, when when it's saying because it's, it's uh, when in the eight is saying this part of the sine qua non condition that all rights which made wait, what is wait uh, exactly? What it means? Yes. And removed. So in reality, I mean, this is like if if we if if it's not a specific uh, if we not if we not specific something, uh, it's gonna go in that way. But in reality, the most important thing is that the exhibition, reproduction, distribution, and public communication right of the project and of any of its duration will be related in a specific contract between concerning museum and artists. So, Did you do the sorry. Did you do no, no, but we didn't need. No, because we didn't. No, not in this case. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. In the in the case of of uh, Maria Ruido, for instance, um, we then we we end with the distribution of the film. <laughs> that is something that is new for us, and uh, all the, the the prices are 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 not. Uh, we, we were not the people deciding the prices. We decided to maintain the same prices that the distribution company of Maria Ruido has, that is Amaca, and we get uh, an agreement with Amaca that they, they are allowed to make the distribution, but we are allowed to. And it was because finally, obviously, Amaca has many things, to, many videos to move, and in our case, it, it was only one video. So, so that's why we decided, and in this case, we made another not contract, but to like, um, yeah, we add. Uh, what was the decision to make this public? What public? To, to publish this on your website. <coughs> that w uh, Why did the price, for the price screening? per screening? I mean, because if you want to 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 pay, it's it's easier if you have all the of the prices. I mean, it's, it's how the is the same. This is a copy, exact, exact copy of, of the Amaca, the distribution company. They have exactly the same way. They have all these rates, uh, scale. We decided to do the same. We don't have the agreements that they are behind with Amaca or Maria Ruido or, or I mean, what? But uh, but what we have are the prices because it's the it's like a, I don't know it's a, it's a way of if someone wanted to. To to move the film knows exactly what how is going to be the cost. Also, to don't have any discussion. Why why you are asking that? I'm asking because um, you know I mean there's there's always a cost to something to travel an exhibition or to you know move a film around. But a lot of those things are um, those costs are usually not immediately you know exposed. Like they're they're kind of. I don't know, it's just something that, you know, contact this person for this information and you have a con conversation <coughs> with them. So I just think it's an interesting <coughs> way to di directly, like, put up the prices and put a cost associated with the work. You know, it's, it's a different strategy than, I've, than what I've seen. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like, I mean, it's, it's, maybe it's just cultural as well, but, like, when I go to a gallery, I find it very, you know, kind of gauche when I see the prices of an artwork next to the you know, description of artworks. Um, it's sort of something that people do, <laughs> you know, prices are, are something that are behind the scenes, and then the work sort of takes the precedence, you know? But yeah, but it depends. If uh, I am, I'm agreeing with you. If you, uh, here it doesn't appear the, the cost of the, of the video as a, as a piece of art. Uh, if, if a museum wanted the, the, the film as a part of the collection, this is 
only for the for sewing the film and I think it's quite transparent to understand the present pieces of if you have to organize screenings and you never know exactly if they make a price to you or to another person and it changes. So I mean having like a policy about these kind of things is very very I appreciate. Actually yeah, we, we say <coughs> we are, yeah, we are doing the same we are taking the model of Amaka. That's uh, they, they are here, for instance, there is a the work. Mm -hmm. Showing the prices for the screen. So I don't know, maybe it is a cultural thing. But yeah. But yeah. a lot of people don't do it. So because uh, when in the last exhibition we were doing, we had to call independently everyone, like, how much are you going to charge us? And it could have been so useful to have it because then you already know. So you know if you are going to go for the work or not, or asking, you know, whatever. But uh, not everyone has it publicly. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, also we decided to do one because the. the also, to be fair with Amaka, because they were doing in the website, and and, and at the beginning they were the, the official distribu the distributors, and and we decided to to make the distribution together. So so we decided to do in the same conditions that they were doing first. Second, it's true that many times when we have organized many screenings, it's a nightmare to to be knowing and to and to let uh, know to the the. the if, if you are sad or you are happy that you are ha going to put a price, I mean, I don't know, I think it's more, yeah, no, 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 no but it's a good question. I, I w that's why I was asking you also, why you were asking, <laughs> because, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, for me, so somehow clear that has to be there, that I was also, th that's why I was asking for you, because, I mean, to you. Obviously, the prices of the, of the work as a, as an artwork is not here, and this is the tricky thing that never happened. But also because I think it's really interesting because if you understand the, the film as an art piece, the uh, the price will not appear. But if you th are thinking the, the 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 piece like an art video, but but a video at least is when the the prices of distribution are appearing. And I think also that's interesting because the, the, the question of the production is coming a lot, I think, from, from many artists that they are coming <laughs> from this uh, situation from cinema, film. I mean, I actually, I mean, Jona Confra or Maria Ruido itself or Muntadas, I mean, there are many artists that they, 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 they are in this kind of, they have uh, one leg in, in, in contemporary art and the other one in the, in the film industry. And when they, they, they have jumped to the, the, to the contemporary art or when they are moving in contemporary art uh, or even Faroki, I mean, uh, many, many examples, uh, they are coming with some uh, conditions that in contemporary art they are, we are not so used. But uh, in, in, the, in the film industry, it's, it's really more easy to know what, what you have to pay to, to distribution and to move a, a film. <laughs> But, uh, and, and this is the case, I mean, if you want to, to make a distribution, you can know the prices. If you want to buy it, that's the secret coming, because that's <laughs> contemporary art. It's no? It's not the cost of selling, but uh, you can make understand more the condition of the artist working with this, that specific uh, project. No? Yeah, yeah. No, it's something that we don't know. <coughs> <coughs> it is not public. No, it's not bad. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what was the the cost of, of this project because it was really big, uh, with many, many, many institutions involved. When we made the, uh, yeah, uh, no, I, I can't. I can't really say now how much it was, but uh, but most of the times I like to say. I mean, how what is the cost of of the project uh, in in general or more or less? purely economic cost of production. So it's such a limiting perspective through which to understand it. Like even in your contract it said the word morally. Yeah. Right? And there's no accounting for <coughs> the number of human hours, you know, dedicated to this. So it, it becomes problematic. Yeah, it becomes yeah. problematic. That's true. That's related with uh, Viviana was saying before. 
finally what means the cost because obviously in the cost of production it doesn't appear all the hours that we are and we 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 never put our sal actually it was interesting because when we were doing the residency in Matadero Angar and uh, the, uh, for the research of the bird and ornithologist we we were using a, a European grant so you know how these European grants are that they are, they are really really nightmare so to, for the justification, we were asking to, the, um, to our partners, to ESPs Matadero and Angar, and I asked them not to say what, they, what, what was the cost that was supposed with the apartment, with, but I was asking them also to, to make like a, an economical um, value of the hours, of the hours that they invest. So, because finally it's a really a difference, obviously, if you're working a lot, like for a month, I mean, and, and suddenly it's like, imagine the, the black tulip, the artists that they are coming next uh, week to Konsani and they are going to make a research. Uh, my colleague Moon, she, she's, she's really uh, this week crazy and yesterday we were like how, uh, trying to, to, to have many to arrange many interviews and obviously then if we say the cost of this research it's gonna be the travel because even the, uh, the accommodation is going to be in my house so and that's what something that also we sometimes we try to to do or to 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 make like a, a value of what how 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 much does it cost to be in my apartment even i'm not going to, i mean concern is not going to pay i'm not going to ask for that money, but it's important sometimes to have in mind or even the value of the of the hours. Even at the same time, I'm not saying that we have to put everything in economical because it's true that, 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 that there are some values that we don't have to, 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 to go through the economical system to, to make a value of that, the, this question of the of the social value or the, or the, the, the effect. And something that uh, Viviana, you were saying before this question of taking care of the artists and uh, and in one project that I mean most of the times we, we 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 have been with happy ends with the artists but also we have had some problems and some sometimes I have to say that it was also our responsibility sometimes uh, some, some things happen that you can't control in the way that you want to control I mean. Uh, remember once that we were doing a, a huge production and one of my colleagues uh, has a uh, familiar huge problem. I mean, uh, someone in her family was dead and, and this was finally I was alone with the production of everything and obviously I, I, I have so many things in the, at the same time that, that I was not taking care of the artist in the way that I was supposed to do. And then some things happened that... Uh, that they were not really well and and they were angry and I understand but at the same time it's like you you can't be a super heroine, I don't know. Sometimes so sometimes as an organization you really want to be generous and you just underestimate what you can deliver as a service. Like it happened to us once that we thought that we could be more supported towards families, let's say, but we don't have this in place, but so at the moment, maybe in the future, but at the moment cannot really take, can take care of one person, two person, three people, but not a family. And, and we underestimate that, and we figure, we found ourselves in a situation that we couldn't really control. Yeah. So sometimes it's really big of a genuine sense of thinking that you can do something with an artist, but then it's not... I'm really obsessive, so... So most of the time I can, I mean, I'm really neurotic with that. I'm all the time thinking in all the situations, all the possibilities. Uh, that uh, I, I was preparing this uh, talk to, they thinking that maybe uh, my public will be only I say and Andrea. <laughs> so that's why also I, I thought, okay, I think the contrast thing could be, because I think it would be interesting with them, but if they come in three or they come in five or they come in ten. So, I mean, I'm really neurotic with all the, 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 the situations. So most of the time I think uh, in concerning that we can be good of that. And, but the problem is what, when something happened that you were not 
controlling and 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 and, and, and emotional things or 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 or, or, or yeah. So you have uh, someone breaks your heart and uh, the, the 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 weekend that the artists were supposed to come and it was not part of your plan. So even or 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 or, or, or in the other side, or you you became you were you fell in love and 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 and, and you want to be really focused with the artist, but you are, you know, you are like thinking like, this, this is so beautiful, and the artist is like, but this is so, and you're like, no, don't you think that life, so that could happen. Yeah, yeah. We have to end, yeah, Anna. We have to finish also because, you know, I think it was a very good end. Yeah. 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 Ye